All right, in the last video, we set up our controller and we set up the basics of our app on the index page. So now what we are going to do is we're going to create a factory so we can get data from our node server. So we're gonna say app.factory. We're going to call it fighter list factory. We're going to pass it a function. And inside that, we're gonna pass it the argument of the HTTP module. And in our controller, we are going to inject, oh, not there. We're going to inject a fighter list factory. And for the fighter list factory, we are going to return an object. And inside of that object, we're going to have a property, get fighter list. That is a function. And this function returns the HTTP module and inside of this is going to take an object that says URL, and we're going to call that, let's see, HTTP local host, since we're doing locally, local host, and we're going to say get fighter list. And for our method, we are going to use get. All right, so now let's come back to our website and hit refresh, and we should get an error saying not found on. Oh, nope, we got to set it up in our controller. So now we need to say fighter list factory. Now we're going to reference this property dot get fighter list. And on success, we are going to pass it a function, and the arguments of the function is going to be the data that the Node.js server is going to send it. So right now, um, because we don't have a Node server, it's going to be blank. We're just going to log out the data. So now when we hit refresh, we should get a 404 error saying that not found because we have not set up our server yet. Okay, so there it is. Cannot get. Perfect. That is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to start setting up our Node.js app.